So, OJ is considering moving here. Being the warm, welcoming community that we are, it's only fair that we offer him some information to help him decide. For instance, Naples is situated on Florida's west coast, a prime target for hurricanes. Granted, we haven't been hit head-on by a major storm since about 1960, but that just means we're overdue. The tropical climate leads to mild winters and brutally hot, humid summers. You like lightning and torrential downpours? You've come to the right place. We're surrounded by natural wonders, such as Everglades National Park and the Big Cypress National Preserve, which is to say we're surrounded by the world's largest breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Speaking of wildlife, Collier County enjoys an abundance of it, like the bears that knock over your trash bins every week on garbage day, and the woodpeckers that wake you up at sunrise pounding on your downspouts. You like golf? Naples is sometimes called the golf capital of the world. It's a title we borrowed from Myrtle Beach. That's really where you should go if you love golf. More courses, less expensive. Naples is a safe community. Police don't mishandle evidence. Prosecutors don't flub cases, in case that sort of thing matters to you. As an athlete, you'll appreciate the active sports culture of Southwest Florida. Maybe you could find a role as a volunteer youth coach. Oh, wait, the background check. Never mind. We have exclusive shopping, but nothing like Beverly Hills, Brentwood, Laguna Hills, places like that. You're familiar with that area, right? I seem to recall you toured it in a white Bronco some years back. And fine dining, we have that too. Although rich continental cuisine may be a bit much for someone who's been on a bland diet for the past nine years or so. So Mr. Simpson, we hope you'll take all of this into consideration as you get set to leave prison in October. Incidentally, I hear Hawaii is fabulous that time of year. I'm Brent Batten. Be sure to read my columns on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays in the Naples Daily News. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching.